in this video we're going to be looking at applying different design methods to our tables so if we work inside the table again we look at our table tools but this time we're going to be looking at the design tab in this design tab you'll see we have some very very interesting things going on here here we have our table st options style options we've got our table styles shadings border styles with a whole bunch of other different tools so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add shading to a cell. So what we talk about shading is kind of like changing the color of a page. So under shading drop down here, we can select and we can select a different type of shade to go in that cell. So as I think I've shown you before, if we hold over the mouse over one key area, we see there that this name for this color is Aqua Accent 5 Lighter 40% okay so i like that color let's choose that option and that is our shading for a cell okay we can go through and we can change multiple cells into different colors if we decide to do the same color through multiple cells we select them and we just apply that shading so remember that shading was called aqua accent 5 lighter 40 percent one of the other things we're going to be looking at is applying table styles as well as modifying the borders so under this area here these are our table styles if we select this button here the small button we can see that there are different types of table styles to look at we get our plane option we get a grid and then we get a list of tables or table lists should i say so as you can see each option is very different so for example this row over here you can see that let's take uh, let's stick with the aqua color theme so this here is the grid table 5 dark accent 5 as you can see the header column and as well as the first row are the exact same colors and the next two rows are two different colors but reason behind those two being two different colors is what we call banded rows if we come over here to the table style options if we select or deselect header row you can see that this has changed and the first row has the same color as the second row so that is what we call a header row a total row adds a row at the bottom which you would use for totals I'll show you another time on how to use a total row in a table we have a look at banded rows you'll notice here that each one changes color when we select and deselect first column same story Okay, so I'm going back to the table styles and switching it back to a plain table. So if we come up here to the border styles, we go and we select the line we want. So let's actually move to this one for the aqua color. And we take the pen tool, as you can see it's now a brush, select the line, and it automatically changes. That pen tool just basically allows us to adjust one line of a cell. If we wish to do the entire table we come up to this option here where we select borders and we can select the options that we wish if not we go all the way down to the bottom where it says borders and shading and we can then select the type of lines we want colors the widths and what we want to apply to whether it's a paragraph a cell or a table so let's choose that option can change the thickness of it let's go there color uh, let's go for this orange accent six lighter 60 percent and if we come up to these options here we can then change it so it appears so that there's no line at the top of the table and the bottom or the sides and if we click OK you can see that all of that is there all right This video wraps up how you go ahead and change your table styles, your shading and your borders and your border styles for your tables in Microsoft Word.